Hello everybody and welcome back to another video inside my Minecraft Title Update 9 Survival Let's Play World. So, in the last video, I got all of these mushrooms right here, well actually these two, and then I bred them to make the baby, all the way from the mushroom island, all the way in the distance. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And what I would like to do in this video is work a little bit more on in the pyramid, in the vault. So... Um, I do want to finish digging out that area that I started digging out a couple episodes ago, and I also, before I do that though, I want to try to kind of design the hallway going into that area so I can kind of make a theme for that underground place. I'm I'm thinking of making it sandstone, because it's, it's under a pyramid, it's in the desert, kind of makes sense. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm thinking of doing, but before I do that, I kind of have an announcement. Well, I, I'm not going to be going to the community hall in this video, because I've decided that I should probably, it, it'd probably be best if I added someone every other episode, instead of every episode. Um, it's not because I don't want to add people, it's simply because I'm filling up the community hall way too quickly. Um, I... I think every time that I extend the community hall, every time I extend it, it adds 10 more slots and each time I make an extension that takes about two episodes to build so you know that that's 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 quite a lot of time it takes to make for only 10 episodes worth so if I if I did it every other episode I wouldn't have to do it as much uh, and that, therefore I can build more other things in the world because it's not like I'm building anything new when I make the community hall I'm just copying what I've already built and expanding it so, um, yeah, hopefully you kind of understand this decision, um, and yeah, so, and this is the hallway I was talking about, what I want to design, so, I'm thinking, you know, I, I, I do, I really want to make this out of sandstone, I really do, but the only problem that I have with that is I don't have much sand, I, I spent it all on the pyramid, so, um, I was kind of thinking that maybe I should do kind of a mixture of stone bricks and sandstone, so maybe there could be um, stone bricks on this kind of second layer of the wall going all the way around, and then maybe um, it could also, yeah, I think I could do that, and then what I also want to do, it, I think that this would be pretty cool if I kind of made a lava kind of lava pool under glass under right here so in the floor to kind of light up the area and then it'd be the same on the ceiling i think that'd be pretty cool although i, I don't know about the ceiling i might just i think it might look cooler if i did it just on the floor and then it's stone bricks on all three other sides i think i might do that actually um and also it just it'd be very difficult to do it on the ceiling so yeah that is i think that's what i want to do so I need to go and gather up some sand then. Um, I might I might have some sand in my storage room, but uh, I don't want to use that right now because I might want to use it later. So I'll just probably dig on top of this massive mountain right here and kind of flatten out the area while I'm at it. Or, hmm, is there any other place I want to flatten out? I don't think so. Okay. So I'll just, I'll go on top of this mountain right here and then just start digging the sand. Um, this will take a pretty decent amount of sandstone. It will take a decent amount. So what I'm thinking of doing is maybe, I'm going to start with getting maybe about eight stacks. Eight stacks of sand. And then uh, that'll be two stacks of sandstone. And then I can just see... Kind of do a little bit of a demo that might that might be able to get some pretty decent progress on it but i'm not expecting it to completely finish it so um yeah maybe i also while i'm kind of flattening out this area i might want to also consider actually mining sandstone because well if i can mine sandstone that's that's mining the sand four times as fast technically so well it's like mining the sand four times as fast so, you know, if I if I flatten out this top area and then sandstone starts being uncovered under that, 
I definitely will, um, get some of that sandstone. So, hmm, is there a cave under there? Or did that sand just fall? Okay, well, yeah, you can see here that I have over two stacks of sand already. So that's 32 sandstone. And yeah, I, I did, honestly, I, I did take a glance at the area that I wanted to dig out. And on second thought, I don't think I'll be able to dig that out in this video because it's actually a pretty decent sized area. So I might want to just focus on the hallway. I probably would if I already had the materials for the hallway and I just built the hallway because it's not that much. But uh, since I have to dig all of this sand, which is taking a decent amount of time, um, I'm not going to uh, do that area anymore. Sometimes plans have to change. Okay, so, yeah, these are all the stacks that I'm going to need. So, actually, if this... Alright, so, yeah. That's all those stacks in my inventory need to be filled up. So, you know, I also... Hmm. I might also need to make, um, another shovel. Which is a bit unfortunate. Okay. So, yeah, you can see I'm just digging this entire area up here so that it's all flat. I don't know if I'm ever gonna build up here, but uh, I might I might as well. You never know. I, I'm not I'm not the greatest at planning ahead as you can see. Um it, at least in Minecraft. I, I'd say I'm okay in 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 other things and in real life, but in Minecraft sometimes I just either don't think things through or um I just it, there's just a change of plans that I can't control, so I'm going to take out this top layer right here, and then, so yeah, this entire, this entire area needs to be dug out right here. Okay, how far in? Oh, actually, I only need to dig out a few more stacks. I thought I'd have to get a another, another shovel, maybe, but I think I might have enough durability to get all the sand that I want. Alright, so this is the end of this top layer right here, and now I can move down to the one below right here. So yeah, you can see all this area here, it's getting all flattened out, it's getting all flattened out. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep the few holes here because I, I get sand from them. I'm probably gonna dig out that layer eventually anyways. Okay, so just go row by row. And I need about two more stacks. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. I might need to actually make another shovel on second thought. But yeah, I'm just when it comes to predicting in Minecraft, for example, I predicted that the shovel would be enough, but you know, I'm starting to um think otherwise. But yeah, I'm not I'm not very good at predicting things in Minecraft. I, I'm not gonna say it's unpredictable, because well, I don't it's kind of not. It's probably predictable. I'm just bad at predicting stuff in Minecraft. But it's not like I memorized the durability of shovels or anything. So, yeah. Okay, looks like sand just keeps falling down. Alright. So, yeah, I definitely, I definitely will need to make another shovel. This is actually kind of good timing as well, because, as you can see, it's starting to turn to night. So, once I finish digging the sand, I can start heading my way back to the cottage. And then go to sleep, and then start building. So there we go. That shovel is made. And so now I'll just take the sand out, so that I can see how much progress I'm making on the stack. And... Yep, but there we go. Very close. Only half a stack left. Alright. You know, I really... I, I don't know if I'm gonna build in any of these areas. I'm, I, I just think it'd be so cool to build in all these areas to have so much built. But at the same time, I kind of... I, I, I don't know how long I'm gonna make the series go for. If I could get to episode 100, that'd be pretty cool. But, you know... Sometimes... Sometimes I'm not gonna... <clears throat> I'm not gonna want to do this forever, uh, but I, 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 I am still enjoying this. I really, 
I, you know, I really want to get diamond armor, except diamond armor is not easy. It's not easy to get in this version. So, you know, I think, well, you know, it's interesting. A lot of people say that diamonds are super easy to find 1.18. Or, I, I guess, I guess I kind of agree. I kind of agree, except, in my opinion at least, it's significantly less fun in 1.18. Because of the deep slate, I... I, I have, I really hate Deep Slate so much because it takes so long to mine, um, especially the fact that you, it can't be insta-mined. So, um, yeah, I guess, I guess diamonds are easier to find, but I think I prefer pre-1.18, even though it's, uh, it, it's just more fun with the stone, and also, um, diamonds, I'd say, if you could just go straight mine, they're not too hard to find. And in this version... I don't know whether it's the fact that I hardly go mining, or that I'm relying on caves, but I, I cannot, I cannot find diamonds, I just can't, or at least in recent times, I haven't been able to find diamonds, I can't even remember the last time I got diamonds, it was not, it was not very recent, I can tell you that much. Alright, so I will get the stone later for the stone bricks, but I'm just gonna see what I can do with this sandstone that I have right here, so... I kind of dig these two uh, rows right here. Okay. This has a broken. Alright, yeah, this is going to be a little bit difficult to build since there's an area below here. But so, yeah, if I build this, let me just go across. This will be. Oh, this ravine is going to be annoying for when I make the lava. Maybe I should just have the lava just flow down or something. I don't know. Alright. So it'll go all the way down to the end of the hallway right here. And it'll be the same on the other side. Maybe... Yeah, I'm gonna actually... I'm gonna stick to my plan. So yeah, you can see here. Uh, it took a while to get all the sandstone. Um, and as you can see... This is about half a stack. This is about two stacks of sand right here, all, all, all gone with one, one side of this. So, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna take quite a lot of time to get all the sand. I think I should definitely try to get the actual sandstone. Um, since I have dug a lot of the surface area off, it should be a little bit easier to get sand, um, the next time. But, yeah, this is, this is not, sand is not the easiest thing to get, especially... If I could get, if I could instant mine sand, that'd be nice, but, you know, uh, that's not, it's not gonna happen anytime soon, at least. I don't even know if it's possible in this version. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it was, but I also wouldn't be surprised if it isn't. Alright. So yeah, it goes all the way down to here. I'm gonna mine this iron. How many ores? Uh, six, I'm thinking. Yeah, six. Okay. So, now I'm gonna take out the sandstone right here. And so now... Uh, I can just finish off the stack. Maybe I should try... To do... The walls next. Well... Each of the walls is gonna be just this amount. Um, so... This took about maybe one stack. I'm gonna need another stack right here. So I'm gonna need one, two, I'm gonna need three more stacks. I'm gonna need around three more stacks of sandstone, which is 12 stacks of sand. So, you know, I'll admit it isn't, this isn't the most ideal. I'll admit it's not the most ideal, but um, it, it could, it might, it might be worse. It could have been worse, I guess. Maybe I shouldn't have planned to use so much sandstone. But, I really want to use sand. I really do. Um, because it doesn't make much sense to not build with sandstone in this context under the pyramid. So, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. You know, because, because of the sand holding me back, I might, I might not even be able to, uh, finish up this hallway. I'll do as much as I can. I'll try to put in the lava in and all the stone bricks. But, um... No promises about the sandstone. So yeah, going back 
to the fact that I'm very bad at planning things. I thought that I'd be able to get both this hallway done and digging out the area. But I think, I think it's pretty clear that that's not going to be able to happen. So, um, yeah, let's just see. So, you know, I think I might want to go around on this side, so I'll do the ceiling now. So, maybe, maybe I should try to dig out all the area, and then in the next video I can finish digging up the sand, and then I can instantly put everything, put all the pieces of sandstone where they should be. I think, I think that's probably a good idea. So... I fill in all of this right along here and so yeah I think I need to dig out all the blocks in the ceiling right here do I have an extra pickaxe no I don't should I you know I honestly I think I might want to use the diamond pickaxe look I have to break it eventually and you know I honestly I think I might want to do it doing this because this is kind of painful mining this super slowly so, I'm just gonna mine all of this for now, and then I can get it all done pretty quickly. Actually, you know, I'll wait, I'll wait until I break this iron pickaxe, because I want to have a very damaged iron pickaxe in my inventory. So, I will do all these blocks right here. Hopefully no mobs jump down into this area. I'll place a torch right there, which will hopefully protect me a little bit more stop some mobs from spawning but i'll have to be i'll have to be aware of that okay so now i need to do these three layers right here and i also have to do this kind of this middle block right here i have to dig this out i can't forget but yeah i guess i guess you can kind of see what i'm going for right here so i actually i need to I'm gonna dig out all of these blocks around here just like this. And so this is where all the stone bricks are gonna be. I'll actually I'll put a substitute block right here, or substitute cobblestone. And then the ladder can go right on there. Just so I can get back up to the surface. Alright, so yeah, once this iron pickaxe breaks, I'm gonna resort to the diamond pickaxe. And so yeah, almost all of it is done being mined. Almost all of it. I'm gonna have to dig two layers in the middle row for the floor because of the lava in the glass. Um, I might just have the lava stream into the ringing. I honestly, I might have that. But I'm, I'm not sure quite yet. Alright. So now I just need to do this row right here for this wall. And the pickaxe is now broken. There we go, now I can mine much faster with this efficiency 3 diamond pickaxe. Okay, so now I'm gonna dig one row right down here. I'm gonna have to be, I'm gonna have to fix that right there. Well, actually not fix that, but I'm gonna put a row of cobblestone right there so I can actually place down the lava. Oh, it's going to take quite a bit to put in all the lava since I can't, it's not like water and I can't make an infinite lava source. So, yeah, that's going to be a little bit annoying. Maybe I should just get, maybe I should just get, do two trips. So one, two, three. Uh, this is probably, I'll count later how many blocks long this is. But, um, yeah, maybe I should just get 10 10 or 15 buckets and then fill them all up with lava and then do that so yeah what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get the some glass stone bricks and a bunch of lava so yeah i'm just gonna go back to the storage room and do that all right so maybe i should get i'll get i'll get 12 lava buckets the only thing i'm concerned about is actually free inventory space because i don't have a lot of that so i might just dump a bunch of it into my chest or something and then I'll sort it out later. You know, I actually, I said that I'd sort out the junk that I put in my chests, but it's honestly kind of nice just being able to throw all this stuff into here uh, and not sort it every time I want to empty my inventory. Right, so yeah, that is, that is good. And then I'll make some buckets. I probably am wasting a ton right now, but I honestly, I have so much iron, I don't even care. Okay. So... 
I will take these stone bricks right in here. And I'll also go down here just so I don't have to make a returning trip to get more stone bricks. I'm gonna get two I'm gonna get two stacks. I'm gonna get two stacks of stone bricks. So like these. And then I'll make these. So there we go. Two stacks. And now I can put the rest into here. I should really I should really um, make some more stone soon. I, I really should do that at some point in the future, because if I keep, if I just keep neglecting that, then I'm gonna run out, and then it's not, it's gonna be bad when I need to get more stone. All right, so I'm going to go down here now, so that I can get some lava. This is, how, this has to be the first time I've used this thing in forever. Okay, so yeah now i can just fill up this entire thing oh i did i forgot the glass dang it okay so now i have all of the lava buckets i'll go back up to the surface the super speedy minecart this has to be the most efficient way to get up and down in the world okay and so now i'm gonna go back into here. I should probably have gone through the community hall route. I, I guess I kind of need to practice the fastest way of getting places. So, the glass is right here. 48? That that should be enough. That should be enough. I sure hope it's enough. Um, I don't know what I'm going to say if it's not enough. I really do not want it. Well, I, I don't want to get more sand. And I also don't want to smelt that sand to get glass. That's going to take forever. So, yeah, I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to- I'm gonna have to pay a lot of attention to the amount of resources that I have constantly. I need to constantly make more of them. Alright. I'm gonna head back down here. All these pathways, they're so useful. So useful for getting around places. Okay. But maybe I should consider making a minecart track, actually. That might not be a bad idea. Because minecarts are super fast in this version and actually worth making. So... Uh, yeah, that might be something that I want to consider, uh, investing in at some point. Alright. So, the stone brick, I'll put this single stone brick in here. So, I'll start with the lava. So, what if I do these two blocks? Okay. So, there we go. Every single block. So I might have to do two trips. Just like this. And there we go. Oh, I didn't mine this layer right here. Okay. There we go. And so, yeah, I need. How many more blocks? If I do two. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need seven more lava buckets. All right. Uh, just for safety, I'll put some glass on the area that I already have covered up. All right, there we go. So yeah, this, this looks pretty cool right here. That, that lava looks pretty cool. And, oh, actually, you know what? I might... Just so I can finish off off with the lava, I'm going to put these stone bricks in right now. So, if I just... Okay, is there any block that I can use? Alright, I'll just... There we go. And... That's how you do it. Okay, I... Okay, dang. Alright, I'm just not gonna bother. I'm not gonna bother at all. Okay. So it'll go all the way down here, just like that. Let me jump over here, and then the stone, and go across here, just like this, and then the stone goes across there. And there we go. And so now I just need to do the top layer, right here, 
Okay, hopefully I don't fall in the lava. Okay, I didn't. And there we go. So that's about as much as I can do right now. I'm going to make a quick trip down to the mine again. And get the seven lava buckets that I want. I actually, I might just get all 12 actually. And then in case there are any issues, I don't have to go back. And I can just use the extra lava buckets. Alright, so I'm going to use this gravel pathway this time. And go across here. And make a quick shortcut. And there we go. Now I can go down. I, I feel like it's much faster. I think it's much faster going down than it is going up. Okay. And so now... I just need to get all these pieces of lava right here. And there we go. Eventually, there's just going to be no lava left. You know, maybe this is the more efficient way of getting rid of lava, just using buckets. It might be, because I got rid of quite a lot of lava in those two trips. Okay. So now I will head right back in this direction. And yeah, I actually, I really... I, I really like the pyramid. I was planning on making some kind of pillars on the sides, but honestly, though, I really, I, I just think that this is good enough. I, I'm happy with this, especially the entrances. Entrances kind of really make it look better with the different shape. Okay. So, I'll get these blocks. And then... I'll do these three. Okay, I think I accidentally already placed lava there. That's why I got extra, in case that happened. And so now, the final block. And there we go. So now, I can just top this off with glass. And there we go. That is a lot of the hallway already done. It's, I, I was planning on finishing this hallway and digging out all of this area right here. But yeah, that, that, that didn't happen. So, um... Yeah, even though I didn't get as much done as I wanted, hopefully you still enjoyed. And, um, yeah, I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.